Hi, I have another video review and that's pretty much going to be a lot of the content that you see on this channel. Robin Loves Reading is first before all the things. Yes, I will be bringing in uh, whipping chats with my diamond paintings, most likely whipping chats with my jigsaw puzzles and even some jigsaw puzzle reviews, but you'll see mostly individual book reviews. So this review here is for My Daughter's Mistake. Now it's by Kate Hewitt. It's a women's fiction, very, very emotional story where a young girl named Maddie, I think Maddie is 16 or 17 years old, hits little Amy Rose with her car. And that is the mistake. But the thing is, well, first of all, Maddie, uh, Amy Rose is has been put into a medically induced coma and her parents are beside themselves. Her mother is actually a single mother. Her mother's name is Jenna, but she does call Amy Rose's father. So they are hoping that their daughter will get well. But the story is really focused on two characters, Jenna, Amy Rose's mother, and Ellen, Maddie's mother. Ellen and Jenna, again, story focuses on them, could not be more different. In fact, um, Ellen is affluent. She's a college professor. She's happily married. I believe she has two teen children or one preteen and one teen child. Everything in her life is PG teen and fine. Whereas Jenna is a struggling single mother with a past in a history, a history that could come out now that she's in a public life because her daughter has been injured. Then the story has another layer. The layer that the story adds in is Maddie. Maddie is the teen that hit the little girl and what Maddie's trials are. I don't really wanna to talk too much about what Maddie is going through because I don't wanna bring in any spoilers, but it does bring in uh, a very serious nature more than the accident I hate the glare that I see in this picture from the nice sunny day. I'll try to move it, the blinds. Anyway, uh, Maddie has a very serious problem and Maddie's problem affects many, many teenagers. Um, I'm just not sure if I, I, I'm, I know what it is, of course, but I don't really know if I should bring it up. So we're gonna leave that out because it may be a spoiler. But what it does is it shows that the author, Kate Hewitt, she has a knack for putting readers into the driver's seat so that you can kind of get into the lives of these people. You're getting into Man uh, Jenna's story. You're getting into Ellen's story where her marriage is starting to crack at the seams because her daughter committed, you know, hit this little girl. And then you're getting into Maddie, the teenager, and her drama and her plight. And I, I got pulled, I got sucked right into it. Definitely a five-star book, really, really good book. And I did look up on Goris to see how many books of um, uh, Kate Hewitt's I've read, and this makes an even dozen. Yes, 12 books I've read by her, and any books that she writes are going to be excellent. Uh, this review is pretty much over. All my reviews, I think, will be five minutes or less unless I do a series review. So that's it for My Daughter's Mistake. Highly recommended. The book has been released uh, as of today, the 27th, but I don't think My Daughter's Mistake doesn't go up on my blog until October 2nd. So I, I will link the blog post in this video because the video, the review's already been written, but the blog link won't work until October 2nd, but the video will go live today. So that's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.